Traders, good afternoon. It's just past one o'clock Friday, the 6th of March, and I've been discussing this a little bit, the Aussie CAD, and I was watching this last night. Uh, I stopped watching it there. When did that close? So that was four o'clock, and then that was um, eight o'clock, and then I was waiting for this candle here. So the low was uh, 97.88, and then I checked in with this candle, and I was sort of working a little bit. Um, and I didn't enter a pending order. I didn't have time. I was at work last night. So I'm watching this again. Uh, and it's not, you know, to me, it's, it's stabilized a little bit. And the 98 level is pretty important for support. Go to the daily time frame. You can see where it's at. It's, a, you know, what I would call this is a support zone. But I mean, where you, <laughs> where you can see is it's, you know, there's some resilience there with the price action. So we go to the weekly. The weekly's pretty um, bearish. That's that's really bearish. I was buying in, into here, um, you know, in March. But this is this is interesting. Bit of space to the left. Um, but again, it's worth watching. But it's not like I missed, you know, a doozy of a trade. I mean, really, um, I was kind of planning putting it down below. It would be activated the trade or no, triggered. And we'd be in a small loss, so it's not like you know it's the end of the world. But um, normally, I would have probably taken that. I just wasn't in a position to take the trade, and uh, I drive at the airport uh, in Perth, so it's, it's it would have been in a little inappropriate. Now, USD CAD talked about this yesterday as well. Nothing on this one, and I think my trading buddy, Mr. Murphy, was talking about. Uh, I think it might have been the New Zealand dollar. Let's see what the New Zealand dollar's doing. No, New Zealand Swiss. Let's try and find that. Here. New Zealand Swiss is what we'll go to next. It'll play like where's New Zealand Swiss? It's gonna be difficult, isn't it? I, oh there it is. Oh sweet. Oh and the, the chart's configured. It's nice. I hate how the default is it goes to the black and a uh, green. I'm really a fan of that. Ah, uh, no, he must have been talking about, this is more trending to me, no, no trend New Zealand Swiss, you might have been the Aussie Swiss maybe, I'll check out the Aussie Swiss as well, pardon me guys, that wasn't really, I just sort of rolled into this after doing a few things, it's been uh, quite the week at work. Normally I get a bit of downtime so I can really, you know, for Perth traders watching this or Australian traders, you know, the New York session is obviously in the middle of the night for us, especially for me, the midnight candle close is pretty key. That's, you know, middle of the day in New York. That's when really the move is defined. And, you know, I'm happy to take an entry there. That's what, that's what I found though, you know. Um, yeah, no, it's not, it's not, it's not popping up, but. I think look, OzCAD trend trade wise is is pretty interesting still, and I'm going to be watching that, and I will keep everyone posted. But if we get another one of these sort of candles that, that closes, you know, below 98 cents, I'll be taking that trade, guys. So that's the conclusion of the video. No trades yet this week. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.